PGI 3D Amorph plugin has incorporated a simple yet powerful texturing capability. In this video, we will demonstrate basic texturing operations with TGI 3D Amorph on these curtain and ball shaped objects. First, we select the surface to be textured and then click the right mouse button and select Create Texture option from the context menu. From the Create Texture Options dialog box, we select JPEG as a texture image format, unwrap as a mapping method. We want to apply the texture to the front side of the surface. Next, we click SketchUp's Paint Bucket tool. Then, we find the newly created texture in the Materials dialog box and select it to edit the texture image. In Windows, you can choose the image editor by associating the image type with the image editor of your choice in your system. In the Mac version of Google SketchUp, you can choose your image editor from the Preferences menu. In this case, we use GIMP as our image editor. Unwrap mapping method unfolds the given surface onto a plane with tears if necessary. Since there is no existing texture on this surface, the initial texture is black with white lines drawn to indicate the edges. Now let's paint the texture with a checkerboard pattern. Let's paint the selected region with a decorative wavy pattern. We use the clothify effect to give a cloth-like appearance to our curtains. This is a little dark, so we adjust brightness and contrast a little. Now we can save our texture. The texture we have drawn has been mapped to the front side of the surface we have selected. Now let's move on to the ball shaped object. As before, we first select the surface and select Create Texture. Now let's change the resolution. This time we want to apply the texture to both sides of the surface and we select Spherical as a mapping method. We will use PNG as our image format as we want to control transparency. Let's click SketchUp's Paint Bucket tool. Now we select Edit Texture Image option on the newly created texture in the Materials dialog box. Again, the texture is initially black with white lines drawn corresponding to the edges on the surface. In GIMP, we create a copy of this image as a second layer with only the lines opaque. We will use it as a guide when painting the original image. Now let's render a checkerboard pattern again. We use this pattern mainly because it makes it easier to show image distortions in both directions. Then we create a layer mask and we will edit the transparency of the image in the layer mask. Initially, it is fully opaque. Let's select the layer mask as the edit target and paint a transparency gradient inside the selected rectangle. Once we are done with the texture image, we can delete the guide layer. Now we save the texture image. Here is the result after texturing. In this video, we have shown basic texturing operations with TGI 3D Smart Texturing Tool on simple surfaces. You can also use this feature to paint more complex objects.